welcome to today's edition of ISM's Quick Tips podcast series. I'm Ron Gates, one of the senior field advisors with ISM Insurance Incorporated. What I'd like to discuss today are changes you can expect to impact your school concerning the Health Care Reform Act. Over the next five podcasts, I'm going to look at important dates and changes that are mandated to take effect. Let's begin with the changes that went into effect on September 23rd of this year, 2012. There were two policies that took effect on September 23rd. Uniform explanation of coverage and the 60-day notice of material modifications. I'll begin by defining uniform explanation of coverage. What this means is employers must provide a uniform summary of benefits and a coverage explanation to all participants at the time of enrollment and each subsequent year during annual open enrollment. For disclosures to participants and beneficiaries who enroll or re-enroll in a group health plan at open enrollment, the summary benefits must be provided no later than the first day of each open enrollment that begins on or after September 23, 2012. For participants enrolling other than through open enrollment, including newly eligible participants such as new hires, the summary benefits must be provided starting the first day of the plan year beginning on or after September 23rd. This summary is required in addition to the ERISA summary plan descriptions. The Secretary of Health and Human Services had developed this summary no later than March 23, 2011. Failure to comply resulted in a $1,000 fine per occurrence. So what does this mean for your school? What has to happen now is your health insurance carrier must provide to you at least 60 days in advance of open enrollment the summary of benefit. This will be a uniform summary of benefit statement that they will be providing to all of their clients. You will need to provide that summary of benefits to all of your employees at least 60 days prior to your normal open enrollment period. That same summary of benefits will also need to be provided to any new hires on the first official day that they are hired and eligible for benefits. Now let's take a look at the 60-day notice of material modifications. Employers must provide notice of any material modifications in coverage at least 60 days prior to the effective date of the modification, other than a material modification made in connection with the plan's renewal. This requirement is part of the uniform explanation of coverage we discussed earlier and is in addition to the ERISA summary of plan descriptions. Failure to comply will result in a $1,000 fine per occurrence. So what's important about this new Reform Act? Basically, it's treated the same way as the summary of benefits, which needed to be provided 60 days prior to open enrollment. This has to do with any other type plan changes, not in conjunction with your normal renewal packet. So as plans change off of renewal cycle, those notices must be provided at least 60 days prior to that change taking effect. Thank you for joining me for today's Quick Tips podcast series. For more information about health care reform policies and how changes will impact your school, please visit ismincom slash insurance. You can also stay updated by subscribing to our position-specific monthly e-newsletter. ISM Monthly's updates for business managers and risk managers, as well as private school news, are great resources to keep you current with what's affecting your position. You can subscribe by logging on to ismincom slash e-letters. Thank you again for joining me for today's podcast.